what's up y'all welcome to my channel it's your fave entertainer it's danny baby y'all already know what's going on this is my second channel i'm glad y'all are here um, I made this channel to inspire and motivate people around the world to be vegan or at least try it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, this year in July will be the second year of me being vegan once July get here. <laughs> and um, it was a struggle. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? I had cheat days where I was still back and forth eating meat and stuff like that. But it was something I really wanted to do. It's important to me. You know, it's more than just health, losing weight and stuff like that. It's a lifestyle, you know um so yes so um during my journey you know what i'm saying i was posting different meals i was cooking and i touched a lot of people so that also helped inspire me and motivate me to go ahead and get started um i'm recording on my phone um the only reason why i was pushing this off so long because <clears throat> i was supposed to have been started was because um i had to get me a new camera and laptop so i just got my camera but my laptop is still down because I ordered the wrong size battery for it. So I was like, you know what? I'm tired of waiting. Everybody else tired of waiting. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me just go on and do it. Make it do it. What it do? What I got? Okay. So for recording purposes, I had already recorded the rice. Uh, I mean, recorded the rice. Boiled the rice. So right here is my rice. I boiled it. We are making a hearts of palm and rice stir fry so let me show you what i use for to season my rice garlic powder lemon pepper onion powder pepper and then pink himalaya salt y'all really need to get into this i just did it has a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals that it gives back to you unlike table salt and it's more healthier and it's flavorful and i like it um this is the vegan butter that I use. They have different companies. Uh, they got uh, Earth Balance and a few other companies. Uh, this one is the original. I tried the olive oil one before it was good. They got a few flavors. But Smart Balance is some good vegan butter. I know they try to say butter this, butter that. It's not good. But if you think about it, if you are eating vegan, which is the cleanest, healthiest way to eat because you're not eating no animals, no animal products and stuff like that, right? You're basically eating straight from the earth. Besides, like, you know, processed foods, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's only so much good that can come from, you know, buying food from the grocery store, you know what I'm saying, but versus cooking fresh food. But, you know, if it's already a vegan product, it's as healthy as it's going to get. So, why would I'm not about to sit up here and not have no butter. Like, no, that's crazy. <laughs> I got to have butter, y'all. This is the Hearts of Palm. It's this is what it looks like it's basically the middle of a palm tree the inside of a palm tree um it when they i think they do have it in just regular water but this one was in brine so make sure you pour the juices out and rinse your uh parts of palm out so right here i have my onion um uh, this is what you need for your hearts of palm i got my uh onion chopped up i already got the rice done like I said, we're doing a hearts of palm uh, rice stir fry. So I got my uh, onions chopped up. So now we're going to come over here to the stove, get my heat on, get this butter pumping and jumping so we can go ahead and get to the last part. Now, um, if you have a rice, uh, a rice boiler or maker or whatever like that, it would be faster. But like I said, I had already cooked my... Um, rice before i start uh, recording for video purposes because um you know what i'm saying like i'm recording on my phone so i don't really have everything to do all those fancy edits just yet so i want to you know make a good video but that don't have too much going on since i don't really have too much stuff going on right now so right now we just got the butter melting the butter up excuse my pans i know they look old but you know what i'm saying long as it can cook it can cook now like i said we're doing a hearts and palm rice stir fry okay this i don't know if this is a meal that's out but like i said before um i'm the type of person that if it's only three things in the house call me because i'm gonna make a whole thanksgiving meal out of it and that's what's going on today i kind of need to go to the store i kind of need to go shopping so you know what i'm saying like 
rumor going around they talking about lockdown even though we can still go to the store you know what i'm saying if i don't gotta go to the store i ain't gonna go so guess what i'm about to make me up a new meal so if y'all find this meal somewhere else let me know if you don't let me know because that means i just created something new okay so right now i'm just putting my onions in my hot butter put that back on there turn it up a little bit and uh so we just got our onions in there about to get them all hot and toasted i'm about to grab my spoon so i can stir mm -hmm. it's already smelling good up in here already smelling good so turn that down on six and while that's over there caramelizing we're gonna come back over here with the hearts of palm now hearts of palm if you're not familiar with it they are basically used to uh, for seafood for vegans for a substitute that you can use them basically like crab meat so you can use them in seafood boils you can make vegan crab cakes out of it all kind of good stuff um, but today uh, so I only used it for the vegan seafood, so today is going to be my first time trying it for something else. So all I'm doing is just uh, all I'm all I'm doing is just about to chop them up. Cameraman, make sure you're looking at me. All I'm doing is about to just chop these up to some good bite-sized pieces. You know what I'm saying? You can chop this up any way you want to. Y'all don't gotta follow how I'm doing it, but. I'm making a stir fry, so you know what I'm saying? You don't want no big dumb pieces. They need to be even with the onions. And this meal not going to take long. It's only taking me a long time because I don't know how to cut like everybody else. As you can see me over here chopping like I'm slow. But you know what I'm saying? As long as it's getting chopped, that's all that matters. So I'm going to go over here and get the onions a little stir. Make sure they don't burn or stick. Okay. Almost done chopping these up. So like I said, you're just chopping these up until they in some good enough bite-sized pieces. Uh, however you like them, you know what I'm saying? Especially if you got kids. The kids is the most important because if, if the food ain't good, they ain't going to eat. So everything you cook, it got to be something they can cook. I mean eat. So I'm going to bring my pan over here. Scoop my hearts of palm in the pan. Bring it to the stove. Stove. Uh-oh, my food falling out. So now for the fun part. One pot meal, y'all. Let's just go ahead and add the rice. I'm telling y'all, I got this is the most, I'm going to be cooking the most simplest stuff on the planet. Okay? The most simplest stuff on the planet. Thank you, cameraman. Make sure you're getting all the good food so they can see. So all we got in the pan, we got the onions, hearts of palm, and rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more butter. Add some more butter. Add my seasonings again. And all I had was onion powder. Well, not all I had, but what I used. Garlic powder lemon pepper black pepper and my pink himalaya salt now y'all can use any seasoning y'all want y'all can you know what i'm saying y'all can do whatever y'all want to do you know what i'm saying whatever seasonings y'all got y'all can add more seasonings to than this you know what i'm saying i just was doing some basics so we're just letting this cook on up and almost forgot my Worcestershire sauce, however you say it. I can't never say it right, but you know how it is and what it is, so what's going on. Put that in there. Bring it down some. Okay. I'm going to add some more seasoning. 
I, y'all, I ain't, I'm not gonna have no measurements because I be eyeballing. Okay, so I can't even tell y'all how much of nothing I put in nothing. You just gonna have to just eyeball it because that's what I do. Now time to taste it, y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all.